Hi, hello. The microphone was on mute. Making a few adjustments really quick. Okay, should be good to go now. I'm just inviting everyone to come join us. I usually do this beforehand, but I was trying to figure out something for the stream, so get it done real quick. Hi. How does the picture look? Does it look okay? And I moved the placement of the microphone again. I mean, it's still in the general area it was in for the last stream, but kind of closer to my face a little. So hopefully we are good to go on the sound. plan for today is using the Sunny Days collection from Crate Paper. Oh good, I'm glad. Thank you for being my camera tester. I'm going to pull these out now because I'm going to want to dig through them and I don't want to have to deal with digging through the packaging while we're streaming or while we're in the middle of a layout. So, oh good, I'm glad the sound is super clear. That's exciting. I feel like it just gets a little better and better each time. I am mainly using Sunny Days, but I also have a few things from Flourish as well. And I have enough photos here to do two layouts. Hi. Hey, anything longer than two minutes will be a win. What was I saying? Oh, I have enough photo. I have, I printed enough photos to do two layouts because I specifically, I mean, none of my photos have to do with like sun kissed or anything like that or summertime for that matter. Um, but I really wanted to use some of these bigger pieces from the sticker sheet. So I printed out a few photos of like my people so that I could do a layout that uses this little you and me from the um, 6 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet. That's a mouthful. Also some of these stickers are like they consider them holographic but it's really subtle and I'm extremely happy about that because I'm not a like shiny holographic person and these are so subtle that I might be able to use them and it won't bug me. And then I pulled out this huge tag because I've been really into tags recently. I Let me grab a layout I just created. This is the only layout that I've made from the Sunny Days collection so far because I really wanted to use it um, for the bulk of the first time on stream so that we could do it together. Um, but you may have seen on Instagram, I made this the other day and it is to document my Thursday three and I'm going to, that came out weird, Thursday three. I'm having a hard time talking today. Words, they're difficult. Um, I have this little tag behind my photo where I plan on typing out my journaling and putting it right there. So then it'll be hidden away. So I did get a chance to play with it a tiny bit, but not a ton. And, I mean, mixed media is going to be a little bit more difficult if I go that route because I have this, I actually have none. Never mind, that was the last layer. I'm completely out of my double-sided tape, and I haven't placed an order for more because 
I honestly don't know why. I just forgot. So I'm going to have to go the good old glue route, which does warp the paper a little more because you have to put so much after doing mixed media. But we'll see. We'll see where we go, which route we take. Oh, thank you. I've been really into doing just like, I go through phases, you guys know how it is. And sometimes I wanna do like a bunch of multi, a bunch of, a, oh my gosh, I told you words are hard today. A bunch of mini photos like all over the layout. And then sometimes I just wanna do like a big, just like one photo. So I've been really into that recently. We'll see which one I gravitate toward today. But this is the 12 by 12 project pad from Joanne so it's not the stick the um the paper pad from like scrapbook.com or one of those places and all of them are double all of them are single sided they're that really nice cardstock and what i actually really like about it is that it comes with solid colored cardstock that match the patterns of the pattern papers then you get these two glittery that one's like a white glitter and this one's like a it's like a mix between gold and rose gold. I don't really know. It's kind of subtle, but it's also, I don't like the feeling of it, so it's kind of gross for me. We have that one, these are the, like the specialty ones that have the gold foil. I can use these because the gold foil is a little bit more matte. It looks extremely shiny because I have my studio lights on, but it is a bit more matte than like your average uh, gold foil. Yay! Wasn't the sale crazy? Oh my gosh, I got home. I bought all this stuff. I'm just going to tell you guys, if you didn't watch my Instagram live, I got $110 worth of stuff for $36. I was pretty much crying when I was driving home because I felt so accomplished. I was like, I am the best shopper ever. Then I immediately text Drea so that she could run to her Joanne and get everything. Um, but yes, the sale was crazy. Now I have a ton of sunny days, which I'm really excited about. And then I also picked up some other uh, flourish pieces because if you've watched any of the previous streams, I've been really into to using it recently. And I thought the two could kind of go together to make to make the sunny days a little less like summery since my photos, um, like I mentioned, don't have anything to do with summer. I know I kept glancing at my bag like oh my gosh I got such a good deal and then I kept thinking like as I was driving like did they undercharge me for something did she not scan something so I had to look at the receipt when I got home to make sure that that's actually what was happening and it was so that's exciting um okay I'm gonna get started now enough blabbing about how much I love it let's move on what are you guys working on today are you crafting and watching you know the drill or are you listening just watching What's your jam today? I guess I should pick which photo I'm going to use first. We could go a single photo route, or we could go two mini photos. Where did that sheet of stickers go? Okay, well, the, I really want to use the you and me, and obviously that's just like me and me, so put those aside for now. If we get to a second layout, then I'll use one of those. You know I'm a slow crafter, though. I really love, I feel like that works. And there are a lot of pieces in here, not that I am going to use that car, but there are like little things in here that I feel like would go with Drea's red shirt really well. And then I could pull in like these stripes with my favorite paper from the Flourish collection, this one. Ooh, how good would that look? Okay, it's decided. You're gonna have so much fun on your crafty overnight tomorrow, Drea. I hope it is extremely productive, but in like a relaxing kind of way. Wow, four possible projects, that sounds like my life I'm always like what should I work on I have nothing to work on but in reality I have like 10 ongoing projects and then like four more that I want to start I'm excited to hear which one you decide to work on tonight if you need any help feel free to share what those four projects are and we will all help you decide if you need it because I am the worst at making decisions <laughs>
Oh, fun. Is it her birthday or is it just a project about her or her? Um, you said she's 12. Did she just turn 12? Or is this just a project for her for no, no particular reason, like a just because thing? Either way, I'm excited for you, but I'm also curious. I'm trimming this down to eight and a half by 11, which is my go-to size. I haven't done a 12 by 12 layout in quite a while. I just haven't been feeling the square. But again, even with the sizes, I go through phases. And right now, I'm just in a big 8.5 by 11 phase mood, I guess I could call it. It's not really a phase. It's like a mood. Too many albums, 100 day, or 31 minutes from last October. Hmm. OK, well, I'm going to tell you, if it were me, I would not pick the one from last October because that requires a lot of memory. And watching a stream, listening to a stream, whatever you do, while trying to like go back to October. In my mind, that just sounds difficult. Ooh, 100 Day, Drea. That's what I was going to pick, too. I was going to pick one of the mini albums or the 100 Day. I am tearing this paper out of the paper, uh, the what is this called? The project pad. It's not a cardstock sticker sheet, so these are thinner than the ones that come on the 6x12, but I did want them out. That way I remember to use them. And hello, these florals. I mean, they were pretty on the paper, but like, wow. They're even prettier here. Okay, I knew I had these around here. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. But you're prep. Oh, I see now. Okay, you're prepping the project for her. That way she can craft along with you while you guys are watching Corey's video tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I love that. You guys are going to have so much fun. I'm sorry to hear that she's had ongoing complications. I know how that is, and I really hope that they can either resolve it if it's a resolvable thing or if it's not a resolvable thing, because, you know, sometimes that's life, that maybe she can pick up a hobby like crafting with you and stuff. Like, this can be an ongoing thing. That way it makes the complications and the sitting a little less boring. I do a lot of sitting also. Oh, okay, Larissa. I have actually always wondered what your your first name was. I didn't know if maybe that was your first name. I think I've mentioned before that I'm bad with names, so I know a lot of you guys have told me your names outside of your like Insta name or your screen name. It's going to take me a couple times, I'm just warning you. I try. But I have a bad memory as it is, so then you throw in there like names and stuff that I have to match to Insta names and whew, it's a challenge, but a challenge that I'm taking on. Okay, I'm just like moving things around now. I need to get started. What am I doing? I feel like I, every time I start a layout, I get in like a groove of where I want things placed so I can easily grab them. Sorry for the sirens. We live in a city and that's just what the sounds are. Anyway, so I think I'm trying to get like my layout setups or my, yeah, like the layout of my items so that I can easily grab them. I'm going to pull this one out if I can. And then this one as well. Is this a black stripe or is it like a navy? I think it might be a like a dusty navy or like a deep charcoal gray kind of thing. That is a bummer that it's permanent, but you know, I love that you guys are looking at the bright side and making the most of it with some uh, crafty time together. 
and I am sending hugs her way. Maybe that little thing. This is what happens when I have too many things. Hi, Mandy. This is what happens when I have too many things going on. I have so many papers, I don't know which ones to choose. And I keep holding this one because I love it, but it is not, that's, it's not gonna go. So let me put this one down here somewhere so that I can stop staring at it. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Pulling out some that match. I'll probably use the smaller version of this because the pattern will be smaller. Never go wrong with a good wood grain. And, oh, that's strange. On this one, it looks like they're black stripes, but on this one, they look like a deep charcoal or like a dusty navy. They are different materials too. The paper, the project pad is a little more like matte and porous feeling, while these ones are your standard uh, scrapbook paper, cardstock-ish type material. I feel like I like this color palette, but I just want like a quick pop of something. Maybe this yellow, what color? Oh, this is just a piece of cardstock. I don't, we'll use that for stamping. So maybe just a pop of that yellow right there, or, oh, that's a fun one. Ooh, that's a fun one too. Oh, goodness, decisions. What if we went with a, a patterned background? No, because I really want to use this one and I don't want it to be too overwhelming. Okay. I'm moving these so that I can stop looking through them because we all know I could sit there for like two hours just flipping through cardstock that I've seen 20 times in a row already. I'm gonna put this over there. And then I'm gonna look at these solid colored cardstocks to see if one of these would be a better like pop color than this yellow that I had already pulled out. Okay, we're gonna stick with the yellow. I'm gonna move this guy out of the way. We have our stickers, we have our tag, our other stickers, and then our puffy stickers, which I'm not gonna use on this layout, so I'm gonna put those aside. Remove these charms. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now to decide if I want to use, from the ones that are from Flourish, I have to decide if I want to use the large sheet or the smaller sheet, depending on how large or small the pattern is. I was just seeing if this matched better, but this is definitely gonna work better for this. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with the smaller sheet for this pattern and we'll put this off to the side. Okay, so I think we have all of them now. We'll stick with those for the time being. I have a six by eight. Here it is, never mind. Hello, hi. I'm glad you're able to make it. Ooh, polka dots. I'm not a huge fan of these like perfectly lined up polka dots, but they do remind me of Drea a bit. So, you know, that one might, might make an appearance possibility but it's a low po it's like a s very small possibility because the more I look at it the less I like it oh that's this one has um, gold foil again it's really subtle this 
this one could be fun as like a neutral. I'm going to pull that out. Some more gold foil, which actually that one might not be bad for a neutral either. I know those are your kind of polka dots. That's why they remind me of you. Let's be real. I will most likely end up giving you that paper anyway, so it'll still end up being used by you. Perfect. Let's get started. I kind of just started wondering. Ooh, I love this sheet with the tickets. I kind of just started wondering if I wanted to do a wood grain background with all of these pops of color. Where did our floral? Here it is, geez. It looks good, but I'm gonna go with the white background. I feel like I have more play and like wiggle room with the white background than I do with a colored or patterned background. I spread out a lot when I craft. And so that's why I keep like not knowing what I'm doing or where things are because when I uh, stream, I work on a smaller space. I mean, it's the same desk space that I use to create, but instead of like putting things on the floor and stuff, I'm just trying to keep it around me so I can easily grab it. Um, and I feel like that kind of makes me feel like, what am I doing? Where does everything go? I always try to start my back my photo layering with a solid colored background like as a base so I'm gonna go ahead and do that with this yellow paper so that we can get started and like finally get into this Yes, you should get your hands on that sheet when Joanne restocks. It is the paper always from the Flourish collection. In case Joanne decides to never restock and you have to like go hunt it down online. Do you use um, small scissors or large scissors to fussy cut? I know that everyone uses different sizes. I was like one of those people that was convinced bigger scissors were better for fussy cutting. Like I couldn't understand how people used smaller scissors for fussy cutting, even though it made sense. That's crooked, I know, story of my life. Um, that was until I got my Tim Holtz scissors. <gasps> Mama! My mom's here, everyone. She's my favorite human. Um, fussy cutting, mom, is when you like have like a flower or something and you cut, you detail cut around it. So you're like, it's also called, what is it called? Kiss cut, when you like cut really close around something that's what that is anyway until i got my tim holtz scissors these things are amazing and they're tiny and these ones work really well also these are actually becoming a quick favorite for fussy cutting retro hip mama to my mom is um so that you know is andrea who you've heard me talk about 
Oh, looks like you already know, geez. I'm over here trying to introduce people and you guys are way ahead of me. Um, now I wanna do, I wanna figure out which paper I'm gonna use as my background piece. I usually like to have like a large piece of a pattern to kind of anchor everything to the white. And then I do layers behind my photo and then I combine them all. So right now I'm going to figure out which of these pattern papers I want to use for that. Which, ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh, look at that. What size, Mandy, what size Tim Holtz are you using to fussy cut? I have all three sizes. The big ones were the ones that I originally was using and I was like, these are the best for fussy cutting. And now I realize that for me personally, that's kind of ridiculous because they're seriously, look at these, you guys. They're like the length of my forearm. I'm a small human and like these things are massive. The more I'm staring at this, like that would look good too, but not as good as that. I think I'm gonna keep that right there. I like how it's aligned to the right. Now let's start backing our photo. I am going to save the wood veneer paper to be the very last layer before we adhere it to this pattern to separate all of the patterns that are gonna be behind the photo from the pattern of the floral. So the floral will still pop. So we're gonna put that aside. Thinking I'm gonna go in. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. Ooh, but before I do that, I'm going to add some tissue paper. Okay, the medium sized ones. Yeah, these ones, I really like those ones. So. See here. Is this? Yeah. Nope. This is that funky paper that I pulled out that last time. It's like smooth on one side and not smooth on the other. It's like rough on one side, smooth on the other, and it's not pure white. I don't know where it came from though. We'll keep it for mixed media. Oh, okay, so if you're using the Tim Holtz scissors and you don't want the perforation, make sure that the blade with the perforation, which always is the blade that has the Tonic Studios logo on it, make sure that is facing up and the, the little ridges will always be on the back side of your paper. So as long as this perforated, whatever they're called, um, yeah, like these little ridge marks are on the, the left side, if you're right-handed. Then, is, yeah, yeah. As long as this tonic uh, logo is on your left side, then the perforated marks will be on the underside of your paper so you won't be able to see them. That's the trick with those. I think the the red and pink will pop more if I use this white tissue paper. So that's what we're gonna do with that. Yay, I hope that works for you. I just realized I said if you're right-handed, but if you're left-handed and you're holding the scissors, then it would still be on the left side. So had to clear that up that sometimes, sometimes I realize when I say funky things. Okay. 
You're welcome. Yeah, I don't remember. I had to Google it, I think. And then somebody actually told me that they watched, they had to find a video of like where Tim Holtz was talking about these scissors and he shared that. And so I think it's kind of just gotten around from there, but it's definitely not like a common knowledge thing. Like I definitely Googled it and on somebody's blog or you, I think it was a blog, somebody mentioned that. I'm gonna do three layers of tissue paper here. And I'm not doing any sort of, I'm not making any effort to cut straight lines. The kind of jaggedy wonky lines will give it more character anyway. You can see the tape runner through this tissue paper and I've started losing track to what's actually on this one that I'm working with and what's on the layer underneath. And I do keep the tissue paper layers close together. That way it doesn't get like, oh, I just like chopped off half of that layer. Um, that way it doesn't get huge and like taking over everything. Tissue paper drives me crazy when I cut it because it flops everywhere and it, it's just a disaster. Thanks, Dre. I love using tissue paper. That was probably crinkling in your ear that whole time. After I do my layers, see how I just chopped a piece off of that? That was accidental. My hand was shaking. This one I'm just going to kind of... Oh, thank you. My trash can was behind me because I meant to empty it and I forgot to empty it. So our trusty stream manager brought it to the side of my desk. And if you do smaller, like instead of doing one long cut all the way down the side, if you do like smaller little snips, then you get a more raw and like rugged, uneven, crooked look, which is what I'm going for here. Ah! I almost chopped off way more than I wanted to, which I think I need to switch to the smaller scissors because the other ones are feeling way too heavy tonight. You see mom talking to you, Cody? Oh, no, I do not. Yeah, if you're someone that really likes archival uh, products, I don't know. I'm sure you could get an archival, safe, acid-free um, tissue paper somewhere. I'd, I'd imagine that you could. I'm just doing a really small layer of this one because I plan on doing a ripped bottom. And of course, because this branding strip is on there, it's larger than 12 by 12, and so it won't fit lengthwise in my trimmer, so I have to take that off. Now I will. Oh, okay. I know which I know which scissors you're talking about. The pink handled ones. I see those all the time at Tuesday. Whoa, that is way thinner than I wanted it to be. Um, I see those all the time at 
Tuesday morning. Okay. It's, as you can see, it's like non-existent on that side. But I'm, I'm all good with that. And then I'm just going to tear the bottom so that that pink still shows. <laughs> Are you talking about the tissue paper sheets? You just want to like throw the sheets away? Because if that's what you're talking about, I feel you. I always want to throw the tissue paper sheets away because they're so annoying to fold. I'm thinking I could do... A little bit of the striped paper. I'll be completely honest with you. Sometimes I fold them and it's like not even folding. It's like I just kind of like move all the pieces until they're together and then I just go like that over them and it flattens them and they're kind of like a wadded up mess, but it works because once you put them on the back of your photo or whatever you're using them for you can't even tell that they have like creases and stuff in them thinking something like that oh yes i am thinking correct i like it a lot and i am going to have it run off the edge so I just used my nail to make a mark, which yes, I know my nails are awful. I'm just gonna put that out there. My mom is watching and she hates when my nails look bad. I'll show you up close what I'm talking about. They had gel on them and then they grew out really long and I'm trying to wait till we're back in Monterey because my favorite nail lady's in Monterey and I don't wanna pay for a manicure and then only have it for like a week and a half and then you see what I'm saying. So the nails are bad. Anyway, I used my nail to mark where the edge of the paper was so that I knew where to cut my patterned paper at. Wrong side. This is the one. Yes. Oh, I love that. Ooh. Just hit the camera uh, mount. So sorry if that wobbled it. So the reason I'm hesitant here is because usually when I use a paper that I really love and I'm covering most of it, I cut out the piece that I'm covering. So I was just trying to decide if I'm, <laughs> if I want to do it here, and I really do. So I'm going to. You guys will be able to see how I make my pattern paper go farther. So I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm going to trace where this paper lines up. I won't worry about the pieces here that'll be covered because um, I do want it to to be able to be seen poking out from things. Then I, hold on one sec, I have to grab my cutting mat. Oh. I, I like your comment, but I'm also glad I'm not the only one. So then I grab my craft knife, which is also not a craft knife. It is Husky, the toughest name in tools. I, ha I got a pack from, this was like eight, nine years ago. So I honestly don't remember where it was from, but a pack of like four or five of these, the whole unit. So like I have a Tupperware just filled with these and they're just your standard razor blade. See, made me laugh too. And I grab my ruler and I just go to town. Also, it's better to use a metal ruler. I can't even tell you how many cuts on this side of the ruler I have um, from doing this with a plastic ruler. <laughs> if I, they were like 17 cents. If I, um, if I have more than one copy of a paper, I don't. 
This is one, though, that I've been using so much recently. I had probably maybe four sheets. And I, okay, just really quick, I don't cut on the line. I leave some space, so I go away from the line a little bit because you need some room to adhere your other paper to this paper. Ah, see, I just cut my ruler um, because I don't have my head like way up under the camera. Is it still 50% off? That's good to know. Um, yeah, I had like four pieces of this pattern paper maybe a week and a half ago, and I've gone through all of them. And our Joanne is like 25 minutes away. So I'm not just gonna like pop out to Joanne and like grab a few more copies of it. I'm a homebody and a 25 minute drive in traffic. So it ends up being more like a 45 minute drive. That's just not, not fun when I could just cut out the center of my paper and make it go farther. Oh yeah, and if you're, if you're not in the US, man, gotta rely on like what scrapbook.com or something and I think there are there international prices shipping prices high I feel like most places have high hey excuse me lady I used to have enough paper to build a house I mean I still have the rest of it but it's in storage because I will be using it for future paper bars at retreats but I pared my stash down immensely. That's just a plastic piece of my ruler. I went from probably, well, let's see, how tall am I? I'm 5'4". Where, how did I have this? Oh, like this. I'm 5'4", and my paper stack, when I first started, when, this was when we moved to our apartment we're in now, my paper stack went to, I don't know, like my hip, maybe? And that was just the 12 by 12s, not including the, that wasn't including like my 12 by 12 paper pads, my six by six paper pads, my six by eight paper pads, or my, my um, solid colored card stock. That was all just pattern paper. And now I'm down to, what is this? Maybe like two inches, two and a half inches. We'll just say three inches to be safe. I have three of those, uh, I think they're totally Tiffany organizers in a Calyx cube. So I have this much paper now. That's including all of my pattern paper, all of my 12 by 12 paper pads, and all of my solid colored cardstock. From like waist high or hip high to that much. I was, I was brutal. Oh, don't say, oh, don't you say good job to him. He literally had nothing to do with it other than the fact that he lifted the stacks of paper that I asked him to because I am too weak. Don't you take credit for this, Cody. This was all me. I'm trying to get this straight because we all know I can't do anything without it being crooked oh don't you <laughs> you're a weenie oh yeah that's what i would do i would only order from scrapbook.com a couple times a year if oh my gosh 50 dollars for shipping i complain when it's like 10. Okay. yeah can turn on the light yeah So I see that you <laughs> I'm laughing at all. I'm like catching up on all of your guys' comments. 
So for your core kits, do you actually use all of those cards? Because there are, oh man, it's just shy. There are so many duplicates in the core kits that I stopped buying them because I didn't know what to do with, with all the duplicates. Also, oh, okay. I always wondered, like, who actually uses all of those? With, with some of them I get, like the Maggie Holmes core kit, I had a really hard time getting rid of the duplicates because I was like, I will definitely use these someday, which I won't. So I did get rid of them. Which brings me to my next point of de-stashing. I had, like, two and a half drawers of, like, my Ikea Alex drawers, not the long... Not the like short fat ones, the like tall skinny drawers. I had like two and a half drawers filled with pocket page cards, not including all of the core kits and like add-on kits that I had. And now I'm down to like half of a drawer, including all core kits, including everything. Every last pocket page card fits in half a drawer. That's how I feel. When I was getting rid of them, I was like, oh my gosh, I will never, ever buy a core kit ever again. I cannot stand le seeing these just like go away. I mean, granted, I didn't just like throw them away, so don't worry, but. Oh, she, Liz is so talented. I love her designs. They're so simple and just like really clean and. A core kit, so there's a brand called Project Life, or a project called, I, I, I guess the brand is called Project Life, um, and they basically created the concept of pocket pages, which you've seen me do. You put the little, put the cards and the photos in the little pockets, and a core kit is what they sell to like get you started. So it's like this big kit filled with a million cards for all different occasions. So like you get a lot of blank ones to do your journaling. You get a lot of cards that have big images or big phrases on them to be filler cards. Um, and you get like five of each card. So it ends up, you get like a stack like this high. Like, okay, you can't see that. Like that many cards if you were to take them all out and stack them on top of each other. And there are tons of duplicates. So that's a core kit. Then the add-on kit is the same concept, but slightly smaller. And different designers design the different kits. So they all have different looks, which is why people buy multiple, because they want all the different designs. Oh, that's a good idea, uh, donating them. I really want to find a way to incorporate more of these pattern papers, but I think it's just going to get kind of muddled down and yeah so i think i'm gonna go in with the i'm just doing one last look and then i think i'm gonna go in with the wood the wood grain paper so that i can adhere this and get to embellishing i don't know what to use this paper for it's cute I just don't know what to do with it. The black and white one, this one, because I love that one. Or this one, because I also love that one. Yeah, I figured it was that one. Where did I put the wood grain? I put it over here, huh, so I could get it out of the way. Oh, you could frame it. I don't think it matches anything in my house or my crafting area, though. I mean, I could make it. I could make it match. I'm not a very matchy matchy person, so yes, the wood grain is going to be a nice contrast. Oh, you could add a quote to it and frame it. Hi! It's, the text is so small. Hold on, sorry. Krista, right? Hi, Krista. Thank you for joining us here. Oh. 
I am working on a an eight and a half by 11 layout using crepe paper sunny days and flourish right now. I'm trying to figure out how I want to how I want to do this. Like, do I want to do a long rectangle? I'm thinking yes. And I'm kind of thinking I'll extend this down so that when I put my you and me, which is this little guy right here, it won't get lost in this floral pattern. Yes, it's just like scrapping with like a bunch of friends. We chat about all sorts of things. Sometimes it gets weird and crazy and obnoxious. Other times it's really calm and like soothing. Today's a fun middle of the road, like good conversation. My project is going in the direction I want it to go. Oh, you know what I just thought of? A piece of <laughs> no we cannot see you don't worry your, your chocolate eating is safe to the confines of your own home um, a piece of book paper would go really well with this but I don't have one near me where did my paper trimmer go and how did I lose it in this very small area it was behind my, my cutting mat. These are about two times a week on average. I mean, it does change depending on my personal schedule and my health each week, but generally I would say it's, it's safe to assume that they happen twice a week. And I post the schedule at the beginning of the week um, on Instagram and on Twitter. So if you follow along over there, then you'll always know when the lives are gonna be. And if you hit the follow button here on Twitch, each time I go live, um, you'll get a little notification on like your phone or wherever you have the app downloaded. And then if you're watching on a desktop, um, you can still follow, but I don't think desktop notifications happen. I actually don't know about that one. Could be wrong. And then I also have a Facebook group if you guys are more Facebook users than like Instagram or Twitter. And there's a link to that in my Instagram bio. And all of like my social media links are right below the stream, so right down there. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, if you guys are crafting while you're watching, right here, there it is. That is our stream hashtag. It's M-I-M for Made in Mojave. M-I-M Crafty Stream. So share your photos on I love that. Share your photos on Instagram, Twitter, wherever you share things um, so that we can all see what you guys are making. Oh, yeah. See, okay. So once you have the app, then you'll get the notification when I go live. Also, I was really craving mini M&Ms today. We have none, so that's a sad day. But it's fine because I'm not supposed to eat them anyway because they're milk chocolate but I was still craving them. Yeah, I use Instagram more also. I'm, my Facebook group, I will be 100% honest with you, has been a little quiet recently because I've been trying to figure out the balance of like post uh, interacting on Facebook in the group and like what would add value to it. So if you guys have any suggestions, I've been doing like freebies and... For a while I was doing like crafty shares, so like share your projects here, but it got kind of slow and I was kind of bored posting the same like, let's see the same thing, like over and over again, you know? So, but I have some ideas. So in the coming months, things will liven up over there. Oh, I'm half, half in Southern California and then the other half I'm in Northern California in uh, Monterey, so. I'm thinking I like this also aligned to the right a bit more. Let's see, we have Texas, Canada. 
Kansas City. I need to remember that. Paper Cut Goods Alley. I need to remember that. Brazil. Oh my gosh, that's a good one. I always forget. What time is it in Brazil? Also, I got distracted for a moment because, um, Allie, you spell your name the same way my best friend Allie spells her name, and I got completely distracted because I was like, I wonder what she's doing right now. I don't really know why, but you know how, like, those things make you think of those? And then I just got sidetracked in my own mind and was thinking about random things. We have Chicago. Eleven thirty. You are so committed to crafty time. I love it. You're always here, and I'm always excited to see you. I'm like, oh my gosh, there she is. I'm liking that. It's simple. It's simple, but in a good way. No, I'm not streaming on my phone. I have like a whole streaming setup. Um. I don't remember the last time I shared it in my stories, but I do have a link in my Instagram bio of like all this, the, the streaming goods that I use. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. And we have been live for an hour now, so I'm gonna take a quick break to share something with you guys. It's really exciting. Oh, sorry, I'm just grabbing my laptop. It was too far and I couldn't read from it. Um, it's very exciting. This week we have our first stream sponsor. If I had a little noise machine that was like, yay, I would insert, or insert that noise here. So our stream sponsor is Retro Hip Magazine. It is a bi-monthly crafty and lifestyle publication aimed at all types of crafters and makers and they are determined to inspire creative makers and women who long for a throwback that meets them in the modern era. If you guys are not familiar, Drea is Retro Hip Magazine's creator, genius, mind, brain behind the thing, and it's gorgeous. It gets better and better each time. I'm obsessed with it. If you get it, you'll see my work in it. There's also a coupon to my shop, not to just like shout that out, but there is. And she has been the kindest ever to give us here, our crafty community, our stream friends, a 15% off code. I am going to, it's on the screen right now, but I am going to also, I thought I was gonna paste it in here. It is. M I M Crafty 15. And that is at retrohipshop.com. Um, I'm trying to type this, and my iPad does not like the name Retro Hip Shop. I had it all copy and pasted. Select all. What am I not doing here? No. Ah, there we go. I did it, you guys. Um, Retrohipshop.com, you can get 15% off. And the spring issue just came out. So if you haven't bought it yet, go get it. Or if you've missed past, past issues, um, go use that 15% off and get yourself a magazine. And then you'll have something to do this weekend, something to read. So a big thank you to Retrohip Magazine. Now back to regular scheduled craftiness. I missed your guys's do one with a pic of your mama for Mother's Day. I could. We, need a, we did an updated photo. We don't have a good one of recent. Plus, you have to tell me what patterns and stuff you like. Yes, I did use wood grain. The wood grain is right here. It's a little sliver to separate it from the floral background. Oh, now you see it. Never mind. I'm catching up. Yes, Mandy, I agree. It is an amazing magazine. It is so good. 
And also, this has been bothering me, so I have to I have to fix it really quick. I can let most things go these days. I've gotten really good at my being okay with my crooked photos and stuff. But this was really close to that one edge, and it was kind of felt like it was falling off. Oh no, frozen video. Let's see, is that, yep, there we go. I like it. And it is like raised up and then down here it's not, so I'm holding it down for a moment to adhere it because it does not want to stick all the way. Cody, mm -hmm. can I ask you a quick question? Okay. On my iPad, it wouldn't let me copy and paste into chat. I had like a thing that was copied and I was trying to paste it and it wouldn't let me. Is that normal or was I doing something wrong? Yeah. Hmm. Like you can never get the paste thing up shop in the camera. Right. Maybe next time have it ready on your laptop or on your desktop. Yeah. Or your laptop. Yeah, I was using my laptop to um Oh, that's the problem is that it wasn't copied anymore. Okay. IT help is always required. And it's very lucky for me that I just live with my own personal IT guy. I'm trying to decide where I want to go next. I don't have... You just now found your scissors? Oh my goodness. I want to high five you for being so resilient and looking that entire time because I would have gotten frustrated and given up. I don't know what I want to embellish with because I don't have the Sunny Days die cut pack. They were out of it at my Joanne and I didn't want to order it online just for that. And I don't want to go back and keep checking because Drea had a sister's back and picked up a pack for me. So when I see her next month, I will get those from her. But in the meantime, I have to get creative with my embellishing. Ooh, go watch Drea's um, Instagram Live from today. It's only up for 24 hours, but go watch her Instagram Live on her account, Retro Hip Mama on Instagram. It will um, it'll tell you the difference between the premium and then like the standard, what is it, economy, the premium and the economy. The paper thickness, the like shininess versus matte, and then the colors are a bit different because the type of paper is different. Just go watch it though. She gives you all the deets. But it's only up for 24 hours, so you have to watch it tonight. Or I guess you could watch it tomorrow since she did it this afternoon. Um, next month, we are having our annual crafty weekend. Oh, I was like, oh, this is so cute, but it's about summer, and that was not taken in summer. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. We don't have to tell anyone. You can pretend you were looking that whole time. And we will all still be proud of you and applaud you. Oh my gosh. You mailed them to me? You're the best. I will have them sooner than I thought. In the meantime, I'm going to pull out another crepe paper collection for the ephemera pieces to see if we can kind of match things up. Sorry, I didn't have these out earlier. Aha, there it is. And then I also have a bunch of, I really need to organize these, but that one might be good.
Um, this is just our like personal crafty week, annual crafty weekend. So it's not like a retreat, like the thing I held in Tahoe, but we're having it down here in the desert, Palm Springs area. So it'll be toasty warm and we will be inside in the air conditioning, crafting and not being outside, basically. This one that says best ever is cute. It's like a little ticket thing. And it does have pink on the edges. Hard to see on camera. But the edges right here are very light pink. <clears throat> Eventually, I will get another retreat going and we can all be crafty friends somewhere together. But not yet, because I don't have it. I don't I don't have it put together yet. And I don't know why I don't like putting these on my desk because then I have to pick them all up. So I put them upside down right here and then I just lazily flip the lid closed when I'm done with them so that I don't have to pick them all up. Um, these die cuts are all from Crate Paper. What was, what was their collection that was like Earth Day themed? It was like Hooray or something. Help a sister out. I know someone in here knows. It was like Crate Paper it was like it wasn't the wild one maybe it was was it the wild one no it wasn't was it I don't know you guys I can't remember good vibes yes that's the one see I knew someone would know that's a cute one that's a cute one too but it's just like way too big that would have had to be the title if that's what I wanted to use um there's that cat lady again that we saw in the last stream. And then now we're getting into, car not carousel, uh, Willow Lane. That's what these are from. Yeah, that's where I got that ephemera pack was from Tuesday morning for the good vibes. Oh, this would have been cute as like a behind the next time. Oh, you know what I could do? These are all really huge, and it it drives me crazy how huge the die cuts are these days. Like, they're going to take up my whole entire page. I love that one. That would be a cute one for this. Maybe I'll throw that one in there. Um, it also reminds me of Drea, so, I mean, it could, could be, like, the perfect embellishment. See? See how I did that? That is called lazy crafting, my friends. Oh, I forgot I had this. I was going to go look at one of the cut apart pieces and see what we had on there and if we could cut apart some of them because I think we can. And I know I'm going to want to use some of those. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one that thinks Willow Lane is a tiny bit creepy. Not the whole thing, just some of it. Different bits and pieces. I, I'm not a huge fan. But I did like this one and a few other ones. Okay, see? I Yes, I also bought it all. But the cat head girl and like, I think I gave my mom the little panda girl to give to my nephews because they love stuff like that. I'm glad that I'm not the first that you've heard complaining about size. Maybe they'll finally listen and do something about it. They're huge. What am I ever going to do with like, I mean, okay, I get the ones that are tags and with little pockets because you could easily make those like a fun interactive piece. But like have a nice mix of large and small so that no matter what project you're working on, you have stuff that'll fit on your page. See, it went to good use. I should probably give you the cat girl head to give to them also. 
I did give away the creepiness. I had no use for it. Oh, look. Nikki would like that one, too. It's like a little deer. I need to start a collection of give these to mom to give to the boys because to them, they're just like little whimsical, like, oh my gosh, look, that cat has arms and legs. It's not, and is wearing a dress. It's not like, why is this cat wearing a dress? Which, to set the story straight, if you have a cat and you put it in a dress, I'm about that. So <laughs> go ahead and use MIM Crafty Stream and share a photo of that. But only if it's a real cat. Oh, that one's cute. I think I just dropped something. This one is so tiny and cute. It's individual purchase. So the coupon code is good for digital magazines on retrohipshop.com. And then physical versions are available, but the, the um, stream code for today is not valid on the physical copies. Thank you for asking. I definitely should have clarified that. And it's not a subscription. It's like you buy each one. So whichever one you want, you get to pick. And you can buy past issues, current issues, whatever strikes your fancy. I can, I can picture him just like playing with the panda. Oh, I'm totally good with, all, with animals in all sorts of outfits. Oh, I pulled this one out because I wanted to show you how cute it was. Okay, you guys. If you've been here before, you know how this goes. I'm going to turn off autofocus, which is going to probably hurt your eyes for a moment. Okay, look at how cute that little thing is that says, let's hold hands. There goes autofocus not doing its job. Okay, well, I tried to show you. I really love, there we go. I really love my camera and everything that I use, but autofocus is not my friend. But anyway, it's so cute and tiny, and there's so many different reasons. you. I didn't pull it out to use it on this. I mean, not that I'm opposed to holding Drea's hand, but I pulled it out to show you how small and cute it is compared to, like, the massive ones that are in other die-cut packs. I'm like, you guys are chatting it up tonight. Also, a bikini. A dog in a bikini, I'm about it. Blurb is having a 25% off sale. You guys, share the info. I need to know. I like that there. Thank you for joining. It was longer than two minutes. You did it. Oh my goodness. I'm reading your comment about that. Okay, well once she works in it, post photos and still use the MIM crafty stream hashtag so that we can see what she made because I have a feeling it's gonna go really well and she's gonna make some good things and we're all gonna be curious. And I speak for all of us, I believe, when I say that we wanna see it. Good night. Okay, I'm trying to find a place to... I, I like the idea of it being out and I really wanna put it here, but that means I have to move the you and me, which I'm not opposed to. Like I could put you and me and I could do it stacked. Or I could put the Hey Sunshine over here and do you and me stacked on this side. I can get creative so that I can fit both of those. It's like a puzzle. Half the fun is, oh, that one was really stuck on there. Was trying to figure out where things will fit. I kind of like that there. I put a little tag up here. It's not adhered, but it is tucked. This best ever is going to be saved for another project because I can't not do the hay sunshine.
I like this one on the left also. I feel like it balances everything right here. And then I guess I'll have to stack these right here or something. Let's give it a, a little adhesive. I think that's a good spot for it. And you know what I should do? I should pop it up on a little piece of craft foam. Because over time that will sag. And not that it looks bad, but I really want the dimension on there. So I'm just putting that behind, again, using my pencil to trace it. Oh, sorry, I just, I know for sure I just shook the camera everywhere. And then I'm just gonna cut a little smaller than the trace line so that it's not showing. There's already adhesive on the back of the die cut so that it'll stick to the craft foam. And there we go. Popped up. There we go. Okay, next. Let's figure out where we're gonna put these. I don't want them to compete and I feel like they might be competing, which means I might get to use this you and me elsewhere like on a different layout completely and just have the Hey Sunshine be the Thing, and I think that's where I'm going with this. I love it, but they both, like I want them both to get the spotlight. And on this particular layout, I don't think that that's going to happen because they're competing. So then I'm going to put some of these. Oh, let's do some stamping. You guys know I love stamping recently. Not always, just recently. I also pulled out these to use because I think they'd go really well with the collection. These are little tile alphas from Citrus Twist. And they are a copper foil. So that's why the light is catching them. Let's see. There's an angle. So they're white tiles with copper letters. I think those would look really cute with, I mean, not for this layout, I don't think, because I don't have another title that I want to do, but on another layout with the collection, I think those would look nice. I'm going to pull out my stamps. and see where I can add some stamping. These are my stamps from my, my shop, um, madeinmojave.com. Today is the last day of a stamp sale, so if you guys are trying to get some new stamps in your life, you can use code SPRING15 for 15% off stamps. And today is the last day, 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. Um, this is the Everyday Things stamp set, and I'm trying to find, I know there's like, there's my person, which I'll probably end up using. That's a cute one. I'm going to pull that one out. Yes, these are looking very rough. This is my sample, and I refuse to pull out a new set so that I can have the acetate backing, so I just make do with this little, it's like plastic wrap, to be honest but they work just fine. I just have to, it's also not printed because it was the sample. You know how stamps have like a printed front? There's not a printed front, so I have to like hold my hands back here so I can see <laughs> what the stamps say in case you're wondering what I'm doing. So my person, I think I'm gonna do Everyday Adventures. Uh, 
Oh, that sounds like the story of my life. I'm always finding them everywhere. I find them in my hair. Cody and I find, like, remnants of crafting projects everywhere. In the kitchen, like, in the bed sheets, because they get stuck to me, and then I go to sleep, and they come off, and days later we find, like, a little flower in the bed or something. They're everywhere. Also... I'm sorry, I have to ask because I can't take the time to scroll back through the chat. Paper cut goods, Larissa? Whoa, or am I mixing up two people? You have to remind me, I'm sorry. I told you it would take a couple, it would take a couple, uh, <laughs> couple times for me to remember. In the fridge, oh my gosh. Allie, wait. Oh my gosh, hold on. I need a mental note really quick. And by mental note, I mean a post-it. There we go. I knew there was a Larissa in here. Okay. Look, now you guys are here. I stuck you to my wall. I am taking names. If you want to give me your name, I'm happy to add you to the list. I feel like I should know your name already. I feel like you have told me your name. Oh, you guys are helping me out. Thank you. This is what I need. You're so sweet for not being like, ugh, how dare you not remember my name? Caitlin. Elizabeth, you did tell me that. Okay. I have it now, guys. I'm gonna probably get creepy now and like every time you say something, I'm gonna address you by your name, um, but it's gonna help me remember in the long run, so. Don't be like, why does she keep saying my name? Thank you so much, Diana. I was wondering what your real name was. Also, you spelled it wrong. It's clearly, I spell it M-O-M-M-A every time. Come on, get with the program. Crystal, wait. Oh, I called you Krista, but the L is not part of the last name. The L is part of the first name. Oh, see, you guys, let me write this one down too. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. I never like to be one of those people that can't remember pe people's names, but you know, my memory, I can't even remember what I had for like lunch, so. I'm stamping everyday adventures right here in this open space um, because it's nice and long and I feel like it sums up the photo and like what was going on that day. Allie, is that a photo, is that a, a, what are those things called? An emote of you falling asleep while I take people's names down? Because if it is, I like you even more. Everyday adventures. I like it. It is a fun group. Yeah, that was a really fun night that uh, my friend Kara Lee, her, she's known me since I was Nudoso on all my social media and my blog and so her husband also knew me by Nudoso because you know boyfriends and husbands tend to know like oh my friend Susanna Nudoso so like you hear those things and so he <clears throat> that's okay I don't mind you falling asleep while I <laughs> while I do this type of stuff um so he always says like tell tell nudes I said hi 
short for nudoso, but like nudes, N-O-O-D-S. So then we got on a, a whole nude, N-O-O-D-S nudes topic and about how we have a bot set up here in my chat that won't allow people to say scandalous <laughs> words. And so it kept blocking everyone and it was, it was a good time. Everybody's like, uh-huh, had to be there. You did have to be there. I adhered the label, not the label, the tab, tag, tab. Why couldn't I think I adhered the tab and stamped my person? <laughs> I'm the queen of telling stories that everybody is just like, I guess you had to be there, ha, ha, ha. And I'm cracking up over it. So. I'll probably come back in to do some more stamping momentarily. But for now, I'm happy with that. I'm going to add some... Word strip stickers. Oh, you know, this layout, I say this, but this photo was, there was a, it was a very sunshiny day. A bright, bright, sunshiny day. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Um, that we took this photo that day was sunshiny. So the stickers kind of fit. I am going to do my black lines, and I do get my storytelling from you. I'm going to do vacay, mo vacay mode, if I could talk. And I'm thinking I'm going to do a stack of word strips right down here in the corner. And I'm going to have them run off this thing, because everything feels very confined, and I want a tiny bit of runoff. I'm so glad somebody got that. Thank you, Elizabeth. It's S-U-Z-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. You were close. You tried. I give an A for effort. That sounds like me. I take so many photos. I printed out the photos. I still haven't started my Palm Springs album from when Drea and I went to Palm Springs last year, but I did print all the photos. And from like a two and a half day trip, I have like this many photos. It's probably close to like 700. And so I think that's part of the reason that I'm just like, oh, I'll get to that album at some point. That one says weekend fun, and I like to do a group of three, so I'm going to do one more here that says, what is it going to say? Fun and sun, or life is sweet. Ooh, both of those are cute. I think I'm going to go with fun and sun. Ooh, I'm loving it. Okay, so more people did get it and are now singing. Good. I am glad. I want it stuck in your guys' head forever now. That's okay. I will always be Nudoso. Nudoso is a nickname that my dad gave me when I was very little, so it's not going anywhere. It just is no longer the name of my blog because nobody knew how to say it, and nobody knew that Nudoso and Susanna were the same person, so that's <laughs> another reason. These are so cute. I want to use them all. 2025. I'll be right there with you with all my Palm Springs photos. I can barely even scrap my own photos. If I had to trade with someone, I would stress so much. I'd be like, oh my gosh, what if they don't like that color? What if I'm not representing the way that they feel in this photo? Which is probably why crafting takes me years. Yes. Elizabeth, that is correct. 
Wh who am I kidding? Scrapbooking already takes me years. I want more as if you couldn't tell like this is usually where I pick apart the die cut pack and I like add a bunch of stuff um, so I think I'm gonna try to do that whoa whoa everything is falling off here I'm gonna try to do that with the stickers and I did just add a little extra adhesive to that um, so that it'll stick to this until I want to use it I guess, I mean, I don't want to add another floral because I really don't want to compete with this floral. Ugh, this does not need to be as difficult as I'm making it. Oh, this, okay. I See, the ones that I'm gravitating toward are all words. This one's cute. Go where the Wi-Fi is weak and the sun is strong. The Wi-Fi was not that weak, but we were in the mountains, so it could work. And then collect moments, not things. Again, could work, but... We have so many words going on. Let's go with this little guy back here. Oh, look at that. Okay, now we're doing things. I'm feeling it. I wish there was another one that matched that. It's strange that they don't have like two, so you could even things out. But I'm fine. I'm going to go with it there. The black umbrella. Where's the black umbrella? Oh, right here? Uh, I'm... Okay. Story time. Not really story. Get to know me time. I don't like putting things on my layouts that don't have, so like this layout doesn't have an umbrella in it, or this photo doesn't have an umbrella in it, so I don't like putting umbrellas, does that make sense? I like the stickers to be very literal to what is going on in the photo or matching the background, like this one was a floral piece, so it matches the background. I'm always really into black and white. Struggle. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to put the date on it. Oh, no, I don't want that there. <sighs> I didn't like how even it was. So I think I'll put it up there. Yeah, that's cute. I'm glad I'm not the only one. But I do use these types of stickers quite a bit, actually. I use them a lot in my journal. Would it really be one of my streams if we didn't get completely off topic for a few minutes? The answer to that is no, it would not be. So I'm going to go ahead and get off topic for a few minutes. And share. Um, this is like my little journal doodad. And see, I put a lot of like the little stickers that I really love, but that I don't really know what to do with. These are like little moths. I put them in here. I already have next week done. This is what I did yesterday. I sh shared it in my stories. I'm obsessed. Those are all printables from Illustrated Faith in the print and pray shop. And then I printed them on transparent sticker paper and fussy cut them. And then I have some washi tape from the American Crafts Faith line. I got it at Hobby Lobby. So yeah, that's where I put those stickers like the umbrella that if I can't find a photo that like has an umbrella or like a beach scene or something, then I will add those photos or those stickers to that album. Date stamp. Whoa. Cat panda man child. That is a perfect way to describe that. I'm using Instagram to tell me what day this was, what date. Here we go. Was it this day? Oh, I didn't post this exact photo. Shoot. And it's not in my photos anymore, I don't think. I'll probably get a close date. What day was this? September 13th. Here we go. September 13th. It was the same day. Oh, yeah, we're wearing the same shirts. Okay. Well, I mean, the same undershirts we had over shirts over them if you were like that was not the same shirt at all that's I said the 13th right hang on why are we hanging on that was the same day 
you were wearing a white tank and I was wearing a white tank with black stripes and then I put on a black jacket and you put on this red flat flad <laughs> plaid flannel not flannel like shirt over your tank top is that what I'm hanging on about the date yes that is the date but thank you for confirming because we all know how I am I would totally stamp the wrong date oh actually if you were paying if you were paying really close attention I don't even know if it would um, oh you're the sweetest finding dates for me um, when I did this layout I was using my date stamp. Yeah, it's too small probably for you to see. Um, and I got through the fourth day of the week and realized that I was stamping everything 2018. And I was like, well, I could change it. And then I couldn't find my white pen to make it the eight into a nine. So I just left it. So half of this next week is going to be 2018 and half is going to be 2019. And I'm just going to, I'm going to live with it because it doesn't matter. Let's do some, I know what will make me feel a little more satisfied. Let's do some little clustery bits. I'm gonna pull out. The really clustery good stuff. Let's see if we can find something that It has taken me a long time to be able to just live with things like that. Last year, I probably would have freaked out and had to white out things, and the white out wouldn't match the white of the page, so then I'd be mad at that. But with the amount I craft, if I paid attention to every little crooked item or, like, wrong date, I'd never get a project done, ever. These are super cute. Um, these little wood veneer pieces, they are circles, stars, and hearts, are from Ellie's Studio. And right now I am placing a bunch of little rubber hearts, the rubber charms, and they are from Felicity Jane. I think I'll use one more for the top. I pulled in one with black and white stripes down here. I know it's really tiny, you probably can't see the detail, but it is white with black stripes and so that will match this paper and I think I will do a little tiny pink one up here and we'll make those our three cluster spots and I'll add some wood veneer pieces as well oh look look at how cute this one is a little black and white stripe umbrella that's also Felicity Jane Yeah, you did. Those projects are now in my scrapbook album. Last time my mom visited, we um, did some scrapbooking together. And it was very fun. Um, I'm going to use wood veneer, so I don't want to pull in cork because I feel like that'll get crazy. These are acrylic pieces. This entire side, actually I think this entire case, no, just this side. This entire side is from Ellie Studio. And then the other side is like random acrylic pieces from like Allie Edwards, Felicity Jane. I think I'm going to stick to the rubber charms and the wood veneer hearts. I don't want to get too crazy because then it'll look all over the place. If I'm not organized and things are just kind of like placed, they'll never get used. That's my problem. I have to have them like really cleanly laid out and organized so that I remember to use them. Oh, mom has a reputation already. That would be my doing. And yes, she is quite the quilter. But she's going to say that she's just a hobbyist. Like, oh, I just do it for fun. I'm not a real quilter. Pfft. A pfft. 
I hope you can hear that noise accurately in my mic. I do have a nice pop filter on there to protect from those noises, but I'll do one more time. Up. I have a lot of quilts around my house that say otherwise. You are a crafter, but you're also a quilter. That'd be like saying that somebody that doesn't make like intricate masterpieces from paper is not a paper crafter. That's completely false. If you play with paper, you're a paper crafter. If you dabble in quilting, you're a quilter. Nobody ever said the level of quilter that you are. You're a quilter. Also, don't say that word too many times because it starts to sound like it's not a real word. Oh, yes, I'm feeling this. And adhere all of these. I'm using whoa, Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive in a fine liner bottle. Quilting is a skill, you're right. But you don't have to use patterns and like be super intricate to be considered a quilter. <laughs> Patterns are for wimps. I go rogue. <laughs> uh, I love that. Can we get like a t-shirt or something that says that? Ooh, I'm a beater also. A beater and a jewelry maker. See, I'm like not a professional jewelry maker, but I'm not afraid to say that I'm a, I'm a beater and I'm a jewelry maker because I make some jewelry. If there's one thing I've learned on my paper crafting journey in the past, like, I mean, not my paper, not my full paper crafting journey, but since I started doing it more seriously and like sharing it and trying to build a business out of it, there's one thing that I have learned and it's that the fear of admitting what you are will hold you back more than anything else. So this is really true for people that are afraid to call themselves artists. Um, they think that what they make is not art, so that they're not an artist. So then they feel like, well, what's the point? I might as well not even, might as well not even do it. Look at all these artists making these crazy, beautiful things, and then there's everything I'm making, and I'm not an artist, so I'm not even going to try. But I disagree with, I mean, I agree with that. I think that if you're doing any form of art, you're an artist, and you should embrace that and feel confident saying it. And like, if you're a paper crafter, you're a paper crafter, say it. And if you're a quilter, you're a quilter. And if you're whatever you are, I think you should embrace it and say it. You don't have to say what skill level of that particular type of artist you are. But once you say it out loud, man, then you're like, I got this. I'm a paper crafter. I can do this. Watch me put these papers together. Watch me craft with these papers. What is that? Oh, Eliza. My catter. Agreed. We are all artists. <laughs> I like that comment. You can hear her in your head now. Oh, that's hilarious. But it's true. Okay. I'm feeling those little groupings. And when it... Whoa, okay. That one just flew off. Maybe we should add a little more adhesive. It's because it's kind of caved in under here. So the adhesive is having a hard time reaching the paper to stick to it. So I'm going to hold it down for a minute. Oh, my fair lady. Yep, we love that movie. I'm just, just waiting for this to not come off.
what does she say? I'm a something, but I am. What is what is that line? That's all I have in my head right now, and I can't think of the word that she says. The rain in Spain, mainly in the plain. I'm trying to bring the lemons in, but the lemons are not here. And then florals, wood, okay, we could get some wood grain. Oh, a lady, that's right. <laughs> she, she was a street urchin, and now she is a lady. <laughs> oh, a good girl, thank you. I'm a good girl, I am. I kept thinking she was saying, I kept thinking in my head like the line was real girl, and I was like, um, mm, that sounds a little Pinocchio-ish, so I don't think that's what she's saying been a while since I've seen the movie but now I can picture it I think I want to use this wood green wood grenier wood wood grain washi but I'm just aha 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 this is from the flourish collection this is not the sunny days washi I'm thinking I'm going to add Whoa, getting ahead of myself. I'm getting excited with the washi. I'm gonna add a little here. And I'm gonna add a little here. You guys, this is getting really good. Both the chat and the layout. And Drea, I decided to keep this, if you're still here, I decided to keep this pink washi. Because I was like, you know, it's not too pink. And I just used it. So, go me. And then I'm going to put a piece there. And a piece right here. All I think of when I think of My Fair Lady, the reason I can't think of like what she says and stuff specifically is because all I pay attention to in that entire movie is her dad. Yay, I'm glad this is making photo sorting more enjoyable. Now, I was just going to stop here, but playing with a new collection is really fun. So I think I'm going to go with, I grabbed the two little tape runner things and I don't usually pick these up but this one is super cute it's like this little dotted line that you could use for decorating like doing just a dotted line or you could use for lines for your journaling and then this one is like little word phrases and I don't usually get them because like I don't know but I love rub-ons so I was like oh these might be fun to play with and they are and they look so cute on layouts they don't look like they're little tape runners at all But now I have to decide where I want to put them. I'm thinking maybe a few little, I'm just gonna go for it. What the heck, right? No point in talking about it, I could just do it. Okay, it's all right there, you know. She does have a whiny voice, but that's like part of the charm. Like what makes the movie part of the movie, you know? Okay, they're both very crooked. That goes down at the end. This one goes down altogether. I don't care, though. You can see that they're crooked. And then I need to add a third one somewhere. So, let's see. They're little tape runners. So, like... Um, like the tape runner that I've been using for adhesive. Um, you do this and it, it like makes little, this one's making little words wherever you run it. And then it kind of blends into the paper because it has like a clear background. So it kind of just looks like it's printed on there. And then I'm trying to find a third place right now to put it where I like where I think I'll like it because I like to do things in groups of three and I already did only two washi 
things. So yeah, see, mine are very crooked. So I just kind of go with it. I feel like I just tell myself in my head, like, oh, it adds to the charm. Yeah, so this this one is just a dotted line. So you could use it as like just an embellishment, like outline something in a dotted line, or you could use it to make lines and then do your journaling. So you have like lines to do your journaling on. And then this one says, um, it says a bunch of things. The little things, XOXO, love this, happy heart, magic moments. And then it just repeats that again. Uh, where do I want to put this? I want it, I kind of want it like right here. And I don't know how that's going to look, but I, I feel myself going to do it anyway. So we might as well. And if you do get these, when you're doing that motion, do it very slowly because otherwise you get a little like ripped mess going on and you have to like pat it down and that'll work. You can't really read it right there, but I feel like it adds little dots or like emphasis or to like catch the eye. I'm going to add a black border now. Let's see. I'm gonna get really silent when I do this. I'm just gonna warn you. If you've been here before, you know how this goes. I get really quiet when I do my borders because it takes a lot of focus. And then oh good question pet question how does someone change the color of their name in the chat so what you're seeing on the stream right here that color whoa whoa where is what am i pointing at right now holy cow that color um, that's a color that we have set because it matches my branding. So that color will not change. But I know the chat that you're talking about, like where the stream goes underneath and you can like read everyone and where you're typing, that color you can change. You click on the little settings wheel at the bottom left of the chat. Click on the little settings wheel at the bottom left of the chat. And then there's an edit appearance button and you click it and change the color of your name. There is an edit appearance button and you can click that and then change the specific color of your name. That's actually, no, it's a great gear wheel. Thank you. Yeah, the little settings gear wheel thing. Um, it's a great question because I was actually asking Cody that the other day. I love yellow, so I can't relate, but I get it. There are some colors where I'm just like, I'll pass, thanks. Most, shade, most shades of pink are that way for me. Just, I'm not a fan. Just did some little X's. And now I will finish it off with some gold craft mist, which I'm gonna have to shake for like 25 years. So just enjoy the sound of my Heidi Swap color shine shaking around.
Holy moly, look at that pink, Mandy. Woo! That is a bright one. We can still be friends. <laughs> um, so at the bottom left, I think he said, of the chat screen, there's a little gear wheel or like a settings wheel. And you click that and then you click edit appearance or something like that. I don't have the same view as you guys, unfortunately, so I'm, I don't think I'm seeing what you're seeing, so I can't give you, let me see. Oh no, I, I am seeing what you're seeing. Okay, so on my screen, I'm on my iPad, it's at the top right, the little gear wheel is at the top right, and it says change presence. Nope, never mind. sorry, I'm telling you the wrong thing. That's, that's not what you're supposed to be clicking on. Down below the text box. Thank you, mom. Oh, you changed your color too. Look at you guys customizing. Whoa, look at that. It's like a peachy orange. I see you, Allie. Coral, thank you. That's, that's, that's usually what that color is called. Wow, okay. So news, I just realized while I'm shaking my Heidi Swap color shine that you can change from the dark mode to the light mode on the app. So now my whole background is white instead of black. And if you know me, you know that I am about that. I am on the app. Also, Cody is saying Topi Mauve because he's convinced Topi Mauve is a color. And he thinks it's hilarious because unlike most people, when I see something, I'm not like, oh my gosh, look at that brown thing over there. Topi I'm like, is a color. Uh, Google it, by the way. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that raw sienna colored car. And he makes fun of me, but like as a person that works with color every single day, I know colors and I'm just... And I'm correct. They're... Oh, now you're giving us the hex code of Topi Mauve. Yep. Mauve is like a dusty pink. Taupe is like a tan. Go look at it. You'll see. I hate the black too. So if you go to... For this, for me, I'm on the app on my iPad. If you go to the settings wheel in the top right corner of your screen, and then you hit enable light mode it will turn to white. Cody, I cannot, the, the hex code is not like a hyperlink. You can't click on it. So you said go look, but I don't have a way to look. So maybe you should change your, change. your chat name to a Topi Mauve. I would if I could, but I can't. Oh, okay. I love mauve, by the way. So, and I also really like taupe. And taupe mauve has been around since 1920. Really? Yep. I don't know what's. Okay. What is the number? 915F6D. Okay, first of all, it's not called Topi Mauve. I'll just point that out. It is called Mauve Taupe. And don't worry, everyone. I'm going to let you in on what this color is. But I was right. Oh, that, there it is. It is like, I know that that's, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know that that's hard to see because it's on my screen. I'm going to describe it to you really quick because this needs to dry a little anyway. I'm going to put it into easy perspective for those of you that are familiar with Close to My Heart inks. It is a darker version of their Sugar Plum ink. That is what this mauve taupe is. It's like a plum purple. Take a, take a really deep, regular, standard purple. Put some red in it and then mix some taupe in it, and that's what color mauve taupe is. Taupe mauve. Was it taupe? I think it's mauve taupe. <laughs> Caitlin said that she has been mistakenly calling that color maroon her whole life. <laughs> That's a good one, my friend. I like that. I have also been calling that maroon. Thank you. I think maroon might be a little more red than that one. That one's a little bit more purple but it's still like a cross between like a burgundy or a maroon and then mix in some taupey brown colors.
Okay. I'm going to bring you guys up close, and I am going to turn on autofocus, so. I always warn you, but shield your eyes because it's going to get crazy. So I just did the splatters in the three places that we did the embellishment clusters. And then there it is as a whole. Well, there it is as a whole. I just realized I was chopping part of it off. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Let me refocus us here. It must be refocused. Okay, we're good. I really like the way it turned out. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I said that I was playing with the Sunny Days collection. I mostly used Flourish. I mean, other than this yellow cardstock that came in the, the play pad, this stripe that was in the Sunny Days thing, and these stickers. Other than that, we, oh, and this sticker. We pretty much stuck to Flourish. But that's okay, because I've been loving that collection. I did pick it up the same day that I picked up um, the Sunny Days collection. And we always have Saturday's stream. Or Sunday, sorry. Ooh, Sunday's stream. Red purple. Yes, that is, that's basically what it is. It's like red purplish brown. I'm catching up because you guys are cracking me up with this topi mauve. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, okay, yes. So we are nearing the end of our stream. I will just go through my spiel really quick for those of you that are new um, because I am ever so grateful that you have decided to join us here in our crafty party. Uh, Sunday's stream is at 12 p.m., Pacific time, so noon Pacific time. Um, I did not realize when I scheduled it that day that it would actually fall on Easter, uh, but I know that there's a lot of people that either A, may not celebrate Easter, are in a different country where Easter is, cel is Easter celebrated on a different day in a different country? Is it, Cody? I mean, I guess it would be because of the time change. It may be like a different day where you are. Um, or like Cody and I, you might be at home just like hanging out and you want to get some crafting on on your Easter so yes it is Easter Sunday we are still going to be crafting 12 noon Pacific time don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I announce all the stream times and then I remind you like Saturday I'll remind you and then I'll remind you again Sunday morning if you're not part of the Facebook group you can click the link in my Instagram profile or Instagram bio whatever you call it and you can join the Facebook group I have lots of fun things planned coming up and last but not least, um, make sure you're following me here on Twitch because not only do you get notifications when I go live, but it actually really helps out my channel here and it helps us reach other people that may want to join our little crafty community so that we can welcome them in and then come, they can come get crafty with us. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for joining. Today was really fun. It was super fun. And if you missed any part of it at all, you can catch the replay on my YouTube channel just maybe an hour or two after this ends. The link to that is right below the stream as well. Don't forget to share your projects that you created with our hashtag MIM Crafty Stream so that after I'm done here, I can go stock all of your projects and chat with you guys on Instagram. Alrighty, friends, that is it. I will talk to you guys on Sunday. Bye.